All right, let's take a look at 20A. 20A, Troy had five shelves with 10 baskets of peaches on each. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry about that. Let me fix that. What's up? Where's the call? Don't know. <laughs> we are on the very last page of problem solving. Okay. So at the very, very end. No problem. Troy had five shelves with ten baskets of peaches on each shelf. Each basket contained two pounds of peaches, which equation represents P, the total weight of Troy's peaches. So we have our question mark, and if I go backwards, we have the question word. Which equation represents P? What does P stand for? It stands for the total weight of peaches. So anything having to do with peaches, I want to make sure that I take a look at it. Anything that doesn't have to do with peaches, I don't, I don't really need. Troy had five shelves with 10 baskets of peaches on each shelf. Okay, so there's 10 baskets of peaches on each shelf, and there were five shelves. Sorry, five shelves. And they used the word each. What is it that I should start thinking of? What operations? When I see words like each and every and per and equal amount and even amount, same amount. Okay. <clears throat> what were the two operations I should start thinking of when I see words like each and every and per and equal and even amount? Division and, and, and. Okay, division and multiplication. Each basket contained two pounds of peaches. Two pounds of peaches, and again that word each vision multiplication okay so troy has all these peaches in baskets and on shelves here's one basket of peaches how many or sorry no sorry here's one shelf how many baskets are on that shelf? Kylie. Ten. There are ten baskets on that shelf. Troy does not just have one shelf. Peaches. How many shelves of peaches does he have? Kylie? Got five. So he's got another shelf, another shelf, another shelf. He's got five. Five shelves of peaches. So, if Troy is putting these peaches on shelves, he's putting them on one shelf, and then another shelf, and then another shelf, and then another shelf, is my number going to go up, or is it going to go down? Bradley? Two. Multiply, because it's going to go up. <clears throat> now, speaking of these peaches, speaking of the baskets of peaches, they told us that every single basket has two pounds of peaches. <clears throat> so every one of these is two pounds, two pounds, two pounds. What can I do to figure out how many pounds of peaches he has? Is it going to keep going up and more and more? Or is he going to have less and less peach? Noah? He's going to have more. So what operation should I use, Noah? Multiplication or division? All right. If I take a look at my answer choices, I want to see 10 times 5 times 2. And again, if my numbers are out of order and they're a different order, that's fine, so long as it's all multiplication. 
What answer choice should I pick? Okay. Should I pick A, B, C, or D? You gotta turn your microphone on, Nakai. <clears throat> no, it's still off. Just type it in the chat then. What answer choice would you pick, Nakai? Go ahead and put it into the chat box because I don't know. Your microphone is fighting with you. It's angry you didn't share your lunch with it or something. Nope, it's not showing up in the chat box either. Who can tell me what answer choice would you pick? Would you pick A or B or C or D? Kylie. Answer choice B. 5 times 10 times 2. <clears throat> okay. And problem 20B. A football stadium has 36 sections with 6 rows of seats in each section. There are 9 seats in each row. Which equation represents S, the total number of seats in the stadium? Question mark, and if backwards, my question word. Which equation represents S? What does S stand for? It stands for the total number of seats in the stadium. So they want to know if you went and you counted every single seat in the whole stadium, how many would you get? A football stadium has 36 sections with six rows of seats in each section. So if you've ever been to a, a stadium, like if you've ever been to um, you have like the Chihuahua Stadium here in town or things like that, or if you've ever seen like a, like a football game or a soccer game, the way that they set up the, the stadiums, each group of seats is in a section like this. Have you ever seen basketball at the Don Haskins Stadium? So that way you can walk down and find your seat wherever it is. Kylie, JD, and you guys have been to like a soccer game or a football game or a baseball mm -hmm. game? No. Okay, hang on, JD. So you've been to what, Kylie? Oh, yeah, track races have them, too. All right, Jadine, what's your question? Um, there is in the bar. Hold on. Try again. Um, in the bar. Um, uh, it has an each, and doesn't each you're right <clears throat> so when it says 36 sections with six rows of seats in each section you're right it means multiplication or division so all these seats are put into groups and they're telling us that every single group has six six rows there are nine seats in each row okay nine seats again each row they're reminding me again, multiplication or division. We said in one section, <clears throat> just one part of the stadium, how many rows of seats did they have in one part of the stadium? Kylie, how many rows of seats did they have? Six, okay. That's just in one section. They didn't have just one section. There was more, more, more. There was 36 sections in this stadium. There are 36 sections in the stadium. <clears throat> I 
is my number going to be going up or is it going to be going down? Bella, what do you think? If I keep counting and there's another section, another one, another one, is it going to go up or down? So, okay, up. Okay, so if it's going to go up, should I multiply or divide? Go ahead and type into the chat, Bella. Oh, there we go. Multiply. Okay, so we know how many rows. <clears throat> yeah. We know how many rows there would be in the whole stadium, but they want to know about the seats. They told us in every single row there was nine seats, so there'd be nine, 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 nine. If I counted all the seats, would my number go up or would it go down? Kylie? Let me go up. Gonna go up. So should I multiply or divide? Multiply. So I need an answer choice that has six times 36 times nine. And again, if the numbers are in a different order, that's okay, so long as it's only using multiplication. What answer choice has the right numbers and the right operation? Ezekiel. Answer choice H, 36 times 6 times 9. Very good job.